We're now looking at the appearance of the UTC-274. On the front side, it has two Type-C ports, which are used to connect DUTs to the device. On the back side, there are four ports. From left to right, they are USB Type-C, Standard DP, USB Type-A, and USB Type-B. The USB Type-C port on the left is used to connect the device to our external power unit device for USB PDEPR feature testing. The standard DP port is mainly used for display port video bypass functionality. The USB Type-A port allows you to connect external storage, which can be used for USB 3.2 Gen 2 read and write speed testing. The USB Type-B port is for connecting the UTC-274 to your computer, which is used to operate the UTC-274 unit. Now after launching the UTC console software, we can see that the interface shows the UTC-274 is correctly connected to our control computer. As we can see the UTC-274 and its corresponding serial number displayed on the screen. By clicking the icon, we can view the supported modes. UTC-274 supports USB-C DP Alt Mode Sync. It also supports USB power delivery tests. In the UTC-274 user interface, you'll see two main tabs. One is Device Control, and the other is Source DUT Testing. Let's start by introducing the first one, Device Control. Within this section, there are several small blocks where you can choose between different settings. In the Initial Role section, you can control UTC-274 default role. The default initial role of the UTC-274 is the up-facing port data role and power sync role. You can change them if needed. In the power role section, which relates to your testing later on, you can switch the device from power sync to power source. For the data role, it can also be switched from upstream facing port to downstream facing port, depending on your needs. However, there are two important points to pay attention to. For instance, if your device under test is a USB Type-C power adapter, its main function is to charge for the device. So essentially, it acts as a power source. If this type of DUT is connected to the UTC-274, then the UTC-274 will always work as a power sink. Now, if your DUT is connected to a laptop, the USB-C port on most laptops typically functions as a downstream-facing port. So when the DUT is connected to the UTC-274, the UTC-274 will always work as an upstream-facing port. These two points are important to keep in mind. In terms of other settings, there are two options to choose from. One is called Electrical Test Cable, and the other is external storage. Electrical test cable means that when you purchase UTC-274, Type-C to Type-C cable is included on the delivery. This C to C cable is a customized cable that supports both electrical testing and automatic CC flip functionality. When the ET cable is inserted into the UTC-274, this option will be automatically enabled. External storage means that you can switch the USB data path of the UTC-274 to the external USB port. You can connect a USB data storage device that supports USB 3.2 Gen 2 and perform read-write speed tests for USB 3.2 Gen 2. The pin assignment has two modes, Mode C and Mode D. In Mode C, all four high-speed lanes can be configured for DisplayPort. Alternatively, you can configure two lanes for DP and the other two for USB SuperSpeed, as done in Mode D. In Pin C mode, all four high-speed lanes are used for transmitting DisplayPort video. In Pin D mode, two pairs of high-speed lanes are used for DisplayPort video transmission, while the other two pairs are used for USB data transmission. The USB channel refers to forcing the Type-C port on the UTC-274 device 
to operate at USB 3.2 plus USB 2.0 or to limit it to USB 2.0 speeds. As for test support, there are two ports, port A and port B. As mentioned earlier, the UTC274 unit has two Type-C interfaces, and you can switch between them depending on which Type-C port you want to use. If you need to run tests on your DUT, you can also perform actions related to the CC channel such as orientation switching or role swapping. For PD testing, you can initiate a reconnect or a hard reset as needed. These actions may be required during the course of your testing. As we mentioned earlier, the default power role of the UTC274 device is set to power sync. Now let's demonstrate a charging scenario between the UTC274 and a laptop. We'll change the power role of the UTC274 from sync to source. Once we do that, you'll see that a charging icon appears in the bottom right corner of the laptop's power management indicator. This shows that the UTC274 is now supplying power and charging the laptop through its Type-C port. Moving into the Source DUT Testing tab, you'll see there are four test items available. Testing your DUT as a DP source, testing your DUT as a power sink, testing your DUT as a power source, and USB read and write high-speed test. As we know, USB Type-C interface supports three main functions, USB data transfer, DP video transmission, and power delivery, including charging and power negotiation. UTC274 unit is designed to cover testing for all these core features. Before starting testing, you'll need to configure the DUT's capabilities. You can do this in the config section. In the configure menu, you'll see options to set up the DUT for DP testing, power delivery testing, and USB read-write testing. Each of these have their own configuration parameters, and they need to be set according to your DUT's capabilities. Now that we've completed the setup, the UTC274 is connected to a laptop. This laptop's USB-C port supports DP alt mode functionality and can handle a resolution of 3840 by 2160. Its frame rate runs at 60 Hz, with RGB 8-bit color depth and support for HBR3. We've pre-configured all these settings. You can also configure the unit to charge the laptop. For now, we've set it to deliver a maximum voltage of 21 volts via the V-Bus line. The current is set to maximum of 3.5 ampere. We can also configure settings like ground, CC pins, and SBU, and use those settings to conduct tests. The testing process is fast. Each test takes about five seconds. We will run these two tests twice for demo. Now, let's go ahead and start a test run. Now all the tests are done, and you can see the current results are all marked as pass. All this data is available here, and you can analyze each part to interpret the test results. By clicking Save Report, we can generate a report based on the four test results. You'll see a section where you can fill in various details, such as the model of the device, its serial number, firmware version, and so on. You can also include information in the report about who performed the test, as well as remarks. These are essentially notes related to the test, and we use numerical indicators to represent some of this information. When the report is completed, it's generated as an HTML file. As mentioned earlier, the DUT's information is represented using numbers here, including the DUT's model name and serial number, etc. This section shows that there were four test rounds, as we ran two tests, each twice. 
In the drop-down menu, there are several options. By default, it shows the report summary. There's also a test summary, as well as the four individual test results for each test run. The final option is Show Everything, which displays all the raw data and detailed test information on one page. For example, under the DisplayPort settings, we configured it for a 4K by 2K resolution, and here you can see that exact setting. Below, you'll find the results of our first round DP test. Next, for power delivery, we initially set the test to around 20 volts. This is the result of the first PD test. Similarly, below are the results of the second DP test and the second PD test. This concludes the overview of generating the report and reviewing the data within the report. After the tests are completed, you can configure the capabilities of your DUT or testing items as you may have several different devices, each with unique capabilities. For example, as we mentioned earlier, for DUT number one, its DP capability is 4K by 2K, and its power sync capability supports up to 20 volts. You can save these settings as a configuration file. Now let's say you've completed the test for the first DUT. When you proceed to test the second DUT and return to the second device, you will see that all settings for your first DUT have reverted to their default values. At this point, you can load the configuration file you saved earlier, and you'll see that the DP resolution is set back to 4K by 2K, and the power source has been set to 20 volts. This demonstrates when working with different DUTs or different tests, you can save and load configuration files for each test scenario. Before using the UTC274, you need to install the UTC software package. After installation, you'll find the Unigraph folder and the Unigraph UTC tools inside the Program Files directory on your C drive. The UTC console, which we demonstrated earlier, is located here, and it will be accessible from your desktop. For general operations, you can complete everything through the console. However, if your UTC274 is being used in a factory environment for automated testing on a production line or for developing test flows for quality control testing, you may need to use Python to edit and compile your test flows. When editing tests, you'll need to refer to the files in the SDK. The SDK includes documentation that explains coding details. If you're unsure about how to call specific libraries or need examples, you can look at the source code examples in the examples folder. You can modify the source code and integrate it into your test flow as needed. Next is the library section. The main purpose of the library is to support your Python scripts it's what allows your script to communicate with the UTC274 hardware, enabling all the corresponding tests afterward. I've already simplified the source code from the examples folder into a basic script. This script is designed specifically to test PD and DP functionality on my DUT. In this case, the UTC274 is connected to a USB-C port on a laptop, and this USB-C port supports both PD and DP, so I can run a simple test. The test is running now. As you can see, the first thing I do is get the serial number of the UTC274 displayed here. Then comes the PD test. 
The voltage provided to the DUT is 19.9 volts and the bus current is 337 milliamps. The CC1 and SBU1 four-digit signal values are shown here as well. Whether those values pass or fail depends on your test configuration. Next is the DP test. As mentioned earlier, the DUT supports a resolution of 4K by 2K, which is shown here. The frame rate is 60 Hz, and the firmware supports this as well. That's the overview of how to edit or automate tests using the Unigraph UTC274. If you have further questions, please get in touch with us, and our engineers will be happy to assist you. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. UTC 274.